didgeridoo is played with um, the mouth pursed up against the end and you basically just buzz your lips and what happens is you start to create what's called a circular breath a circular breath is being able to use the air in your cheeks blowing out at the same time as inhaling so you could imagine if you had a candle in front of you you were trying to blow the candle out even when you're taking an inhale and you can also use your vocal cords and sing to it to change the tone of the didgeridoo and you can also change the upper palate location up and down a little bit to get a different sound you're going to hear a really nice earthy deep tone that's going to bring you back if you feel like you've started to travel out and got a little bit lighter it'll connect you back into your body and the feelings in your body and help you stay spacious the didgeridoo is very earthy very powerful and it connects you to here and now Crystal bowls are relatively new uh, in terms of sound healing. They come out of the computer industry. These bowls are a pure tone generally, a pure frequency, which means they're a really good environment to grow crystals. Crystals of clear structure and form so that you can use them in computer chips. So these are actually little baths that you can grow crystals in. And someone decided about 30 years ago to start using them like the metal singing bowls. The way you play these bowls is really similar to a wine glass um, and you just basically rub the edge of the bowl or the rim of the bowl. For this little one for instance, when I rub around the edge, it has a steady sound and then if you change it to the rim, it starts to wobble a little bit. If you can use something outside of the brain that has a pulse as well, you can start to work the brain into a similar state and this is called entrainment. And some of the ways that which the singing bowls work is through the frequencies and helping you bring your brain into a lower state, a more calm state, a more relaxed state. So they become a really powerful meditation aid. The cool thing about these metal singing bowls is that they have overtones, so there's multiple notes in one bowl. So this technique, mouthing technique, is actually basically just changing the circular pattern of the wave, the sound wave that's rolling around the bowl, so your mouth becomes part of the instrument. And then without having to make a sound or doing anything, you just use your mouth and the, the openness of the mouth and it will completely change the sound of the bowl. You can put them on different parts of your body and play them and you feel the vibration go into your body. It's like a very subtle, gentle massage. So these metal singing bowls are really, really powerful because the sounds they make are both here and present that you hear very clearly and they're also more etheric where you feel like you're hearing them in the back of your head or they're off to the side. They're not quite clear as to where the sound is coming from. So that allows you in a way to settle the mind, to start to slow down with the mind and just start to be with the space of the sound wherever it goes around the room. Every chime generally comes with their own prayers and they're really, really cool because they have again one main note but they also have overtones and when you play them if you get them close enough the sound waves start to interfere so that you start to hear a wobble so the sound that comes out of the tingshas is a little bit sharper and louder and it's a more of an awakening sound so i like to use these at the end of sessions to help bring people out to help wake them up <laughs> 